Rock climbing is hard. Now imagine doing it on one leg. Researchers at USF School of Physical Therapy and Rehabilitation Sciences are looking at some of the best amputee rock climbers and the tools they use to get to the top. The purpose of the rock climbing study is to determine which of five prosthetic conditions is the least metabolically taxing to climb with. The climbers take on the walls at Tampa's Vertical Ventures with no prosthesis, on a stubby with the foot turned forward and backward, and with a fully articulated device with the knee locked and unlocked. Cara Fortunato has won her division in the last two extremity games, an extreme sports competition for amputees. Their study is, is going to show great results in, in terms of what's out there, what people can do, and just to get the exposure out there to other amputees. Another test participant and Extremity Games winner, Ronnie Dixon, studies prosthetics at St. Pete College. This may be a more definitive guideline as to what helps amputees like myself climb a little better. I know it works for me personally, but scientifically uh, it may prove otherwise. Dr. Highsmith says the need for knowing what the best tools are grows as more rehabilitation facilities use extreme sports to help their patients, particularly veterans, recover. An upper limb activity like kayaking or a climbing activity like this would be a good rehab option translating then into a lifetime fitness pursuit. For University Beat, I'm Mark Schreiner. For more information on this University Beat or to view previous segments, log on to WUSF.org and click on the University Beat link.